Incan Empire. Power, glory. A civilization with abundant evidence of its knowledge and sophisticated society. With strong architectural foundations, even double entryways tell us about the importance of the Inca ruler. Much of what is seen in stonework was carved by what Europe would consider master stonemasons. In 1526, Spanish conquistadors led by Francisco Pizarro reached the Inca territory. It was evident to the Spaniards that they had reached a very rich land. In 1529, Pizarro returned to Spain and received royal approval to conquer the Inca region and become its viceroy. The Spanish found favorable, co favorable conditions that would help them conquer the Inca Empire. When they returned in 1532, the Spaniards found the Incas in a war of succession between half-brothers Huascar and Atahualpa. The unrest caused by this war, along with the spread of smallpox throughout the empire, greatly weakened the Incas. Though Pizarro did not have a formidable force, he often used diplomacy to talk his way out of potential confrontations that could have easily ended in defeat. Eventually, this small army of Spanish conquistadors would take over areas one by one and ultimately capture the ruler Atahualpa. At the request of the Spaniards, Atahualpa presented them with a large sum of gold and silver as a ransom for his freedom. Though Pizarro accepted the ransom, he did not set Atahualpa free, and eventually he was put to death. This death was one of many that would occur at the hands of the conquistadors. In 1572, the last Inca stronghold was discovered, and the last ruler, Tupac Amaru, was captured and executed, bringing the Incan Empire to an end. In Cusco in 1589, Don Mancio Serra de Leguizamo, the last survivor of the original conquerors of Peru, wrote the following of the Inca Empire. We found these kingdoms in such good order. The said Incas governed them in such wise manner that throughout them there was not a thief, nor a vicious man, nor an adulteress, nor a bad woman, admitted among them, nor were there a more of people. In Cusco, there are still remnants of great stone work, contrasted by the mediocre Spanish building techniques. Sadly, the architectural ability of the Inca is no longer apparent. What the Inca once did is only seen in ruins. Modern day rural Peruvians build their homes from clay bricks. The seed of the ancient Incan Empire was in modern day Peru. The country's capital is Lima, where they carry out the daily need of their constitutional republic. Although Peru has many natural resources, many Peruvians subsist on tourism. Selling the work of their ancestors, tourism is what gives the people income. Though the great stonemasons are gone, Peru thrives on the industry its history gives them.